Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, I'm gonna show you how to change a tire on your bicycle. The other day, my wife came to me and asked me to put some air in the bike tire for her. So when I went over to the bike and, you know, was looking for the valve that was up here, I was kind of going around and I saw this fraying right here. And I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up nicely, but there is a slight bulge here. So, seeing that this bike is, well, it's over 10 years old, I got it used. It's still one of the good Schwinn's when they were built in the US. Um, the tires are still original. So, I'm gonna uh, take you guys along and show you how to remove a front tire. And the uh, next video, I'll show you how to remove the rear tire from the bike, cause it's kinda, different depending what kind of bikes you have and then quickly show you how to remove the tire, put on a new tire, etc. So let's get to it. Step one, you have to release the tension of the front brakes. That is most easily done by pushing uh, these two together here and then uh, getting this part out from here. Now I can't do this very good one-handed, so let me put you guys on the stand and show you how to do it. So just grab from the sides, push them together, and then just finesse the back part out like that. So the brake tension is now released, as you can see. After you've done this, you can go ahead and either mount your bike onto a bicycle holder or you can do like me and I'm just gonna flip the bike upside down. Okay, this bike has one of the quick release front features so all I gotta do is lift up this and loosen the screw a couple times and this will then allow me to just lift out the bicycle tire. Okay, next step is you got to deflate the tire. So, I got one of the valves like um, on a car tire. I'm not sure if it's the Schroeder valve or whatever you call it. Uh, but just get something to uh, push in side, push the metal thing down and let out all the air of the tire. Okay. Now that the tire has been uh, deflated, start squeezing it together around, pushing it away from the rim here. Just do that all around to break up, break the bead, loosen the bead. Next, now the only real specialty tools you'll need are um, these uh, little, I don't know what they're called in English, but the helpers, you know, to remove the tire from the rim. Um, they're cheap, I got them for four bucks over here in Switzerland. So you'll want to just go underneath and just pry up over, then go a little bit further over, do the th same thing like that. Now the only very important thing to know is don't start right on top of the valve. Start next to the valve and then you should be able to just slide on over all around the tire. Use the tool to get underneath and lift it up over the rim. Just be careful, there is your hose inside you or your tube rather. There we go. Now we have one old tire with the tube inside, one rim. Place one rim aside, uh, carefully get out one tube, and 
one old tire to be discarded, one tube to be reused. Now you can see there's still quite a lot of air in here. So I'm just gonna let out some extra air. Make it a little easier to handle. Be careful not to poke the tube. Now quickly going to inspect the wheel itself. Make sure it's all clean, no nicks, nothing sharp or anything to damage something. Now for a tire, I got myself two new tires. Because as I said, both of them are very old. Uh, they're the same size as we're on the bike, 26 times 1.95. No idea what that is in bike terms. I'm a car guy, not a bike guy. And now let's do the reverse to install it. So let me get a little space and let's get this thing back on. I laid everything out. I got my tire here and my hose here. Um, not 100% sure which way to put it together. Uh, to be quite honest with you, so let's just give it a try. I'm going to start by inserting the hose into the tire. Which makes the most sense to me. I'm sure my buddy Dev is going to comment on it. And tell me you're doing it wrong. But, hey. I'm doing things from memory here. And what I find to be right. So, now that you got it roughly on the inside, take your bicycle rim and start where the valve is right here. Can you guys see that? Where the valve is. And thread it through the hole on the rim. I'm going to now take my valve cap and screw it on. That way I can't pull it out again. And then, let me get you guys out a bit again. I am going to just try to install it by pushing both Oops, both sides of the tire uh, in between the opening of the rim without pinching uh, the tube. Now, let's see, I might have to lie this down. Let's see, this might work better. Like this. far as I can without tools. Uh, sorry guys. We're gonna use a camera person. When it gets tougher, we're going to have to, I guess, use a tool to try to lift it over. Well, I'll get one of those again. Try to... Basically, like on a car tire and a rim. Okay. Lift this stuff over. Maybe the hook side will work better. Maybe it's just for decoration, I don't know. That seems to have worked. Let's try a little further down. Got a second tool. Trying to keep it in camera as much as I can, guys. I'm using this hook side to grab 
uh, the outside of the tire and pry it over and then this one to uh, pull it over. So I got the outside done. Now it should be a matter of just popping this side in like this. And frankly, I'm just kind of doing this like I would do a car tire. And again, you're out of picture. There we go. No idea how people do this on the side of the road and they patch tires. There we go. So, the tire is completely on again. As you can see, I get you a little closer. It's on all around on both sides. Now I'm gonna go get the bicycle pump and I'll put some air in this bad boy and see if it holds. Okay, so we are connected. Let's start pumping. All right. So. You gotta bounce a new tire. Great looking thread, nice shiny all around. Time to mount up this bad boy back to your bike. Now, hey, mounting it to your bike is simple. It's just the exact opposite as you had it before. As it is a quick connect and disconnect, slide it into the forks. Use the little handle here, start tightening it up. And bring it here. Back a bit, and get straight. Because you want this to point in a direction where you can actually grab it again. And close it. Okay, runs good. Now, I'm gonna flip the bike upside down again, and we're gonna reconnect the front brakes. Reconnecting the front brakes is the opposite as we did before. We're gonna again push it together, and just thread it in somehow. Oh, There we go. Grab the brakes, make sure they work again, check the tire pressure in your bike, and you are good to go. So guys, oh, let me get into the frame here. As you can see, it's really quick and easy to change a tire on your bike yourself. No need to bring it to the shop. All you really need to buy are these little guys to remove the tire from the rim and help install it back onto the rim so that's like a four buck investment and uh, the tire itself depending what kind you get uh, these cost 18 bucks a piece front and rear uh, plus it takes you what like 10-15 minutes time so it's a breeze uh, I really suggest anybody who needs to change a tire do it themselves save yourself that money and check out the next video and I'll show you how to uh, unmount the rear tire or the rear wheel, rear wheel rather from uh, this type of Schwinn bike. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help. 
Uh, click subscribe, click the notification bell if you like, leave me a comment, and as I said, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot.